Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam and in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can use UI table view control in the iPhone development. Okay? So UI table view basically allows you to, you know, put together a table. Now that table doesn't have you know, like a grid display layout, okay? It doesn't really reflect the Excel layout that you have in Microsoft Excel or some other program like Spreadsheet or something. It's just, it, it will have number of rows and each row will have one cell so you can scroll up and down, okay? Uh, so we're going to do actually this from the very start. So this might be a little bit long screencast uh, because I'll show you complete thing that how to populate a UI table view. I have comp uh, made a customer class and you can see it's pretty simple. It just has one property. It's called a uh, name property and uh, it is exposed by a, you know, it's exposed as a non-atomic retain. And we have also synthesized it so that it has getters and setters. So that's pretty simple, okay? Now you can use a, um, what is that called? The UI uh, table view controller, but we are not going to use this in, in this in our example. We are, uh, you know, just going to uh, use the nip files to add a UI table view controller. So let's do that. Uh, so this is our view. As you can see, there's nothing on there. I'm just going to go uh, to the toolbox and uh, search for the UI table view. UI table view. And here's it, here's the UI table view. I'm just going to drag and drop over here, kind of like full screen. Uh, here we go. Okay, so now we have a UI table view over here. Save it. And let's go to the Hello World view controller. And then I'm just going to say IB outlet UI table view. And I'm just going to say table view. And we can extend that property saying non-atomic retain IB outlet UI table view and a uh, table view okay here we go I think we messed up the ex spelling there we go and we go to the implementation file and uh, simply say table view now when you go to the NIP file, since we have already told us that it, this will be an IB outlet, uh, it will be available over here, table view, as a property, and we can hook it up to the table view on our interface builder. So now it's hooked up. Now table view depends on a UI table view uh, data source delegate, okay? So data source is responsible for populating the table view. The table view which we are going to make will look something like this. It will not have any sections like it's over here it says California. It will be just plain, but it will pretty much look like this. As you can see, there are different rows. There are a number of rows, like 10 or 15, and each row has a text written in it. And we'll be building something like this. Okay, so next step is uh, let's set up the delegate of this. So you, you will see over here it says data source. So we are going to drag it to the file owner, which is the controller, so that uh, it will handle the data source for us. And of course, we will have a UI table view uh, data source. So you have to implement this delegate in order to, you know, in order to populate the table view. All right. Now, um, so this particular UI table view data source delegate, it has many methods. Some are optional and some are required. Uh, so let's actually go over here and see what those methods are. And we will have to implement a number of methods. We will have to implement two methods because they are written over here is required. So we have to implement those methods. What I like to do is that you can see if the documentation is open, number of rows in section, I'll click on that and uh, I will simply go and copy this. And let's go ahead and uh, minimize that. And uh, you might be able to hear my daughter crying in the background, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so we have now number of rows in section, okay? And this will return, this will kind of give the table view an idea that how many rows are there in the section. 
um, let's go ahead and declare another property which is NF mutable array and uh, which will be customers okay so we'll have that property customers uh, we can also expose that property using the expose that field as a property NS mutable array and basically this uh, property will hold the customers that we would like to display on uh, on the UI table view control here we go and let's go ahead and say over here customers okay now we need to populate the customers but uh, before that let's actually go ahead and return this one to customers so the number of rows in the UI table view will be the number of customers okay and now we can also go ahead and populate our customers I'm going to do that inside over here in the view did load method actually I need to uh, get the customer dot edge right so let's go over sorry over here customer dot edge so I can make an object of a customer class and I'm going to say self dot customers equal to NS mutable array uh, and just trying to make the initialize the array and then I'm just going to say customer uh, I don't know customer one and then customer you can make as many customer you want uh, so let's actually or should we use a loop let's actually use a loop for integer i equal to 1 i is less than equal to let's say 10 customers and i plus plus and let's go ahead and make a customer 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 equal to customer alloc in it and then we can simply assign something to the uh, what happened over here there we go we need a static over here uh, customer dot name and then you can assign a different name to it because it's gonna say ns string and then string with format and uh, just gonna say a name Oops. over here I okay and we will add it to the customers collection so customers add object and I'm just gonna add the customer over here so this will populate our customers collection and now the UI table view at this point is ready to populate it with the customers okay so when now this method will fire number of rows uh, in section it will return you uh, 10 because there are 10 customers in the customers collection there is one more method that you need to implement so let's go over here and um, let's me scroll down a bit so here's the method cell for row add index and this method is very important because it basically it allows you to populate the cell with the text or anything related uh, to the like a binding between the UI table view cell and the customer collection okay and once again I'm just going to copy this method there we go minimize this uh, let's go over here and just after that we can paste it over here okay and this will return you a UI table cell now I'm going to copy this thing uh, let me actually sh get the copy of this I'm going to copy it because it's a lot of lines and I don't want to write a lot of lines so let's actually go ahead and copy it um, let's see where should I copy all right I'm just gonna paste it over here and we're gonna change it and then I'm going to explain to you what's going on so let's hide this thing okay and this is from my article which is article number 814 implementing Twitter search iOS app using AF networking UI table view and MB progress at UD okay so let me actually clear this one up we don't really need these things and I'm going to explain to you what's going on in a bit uh, we are not concerned with the tweets we are concerned of the customers right so we are going to get customer over here 
and then we are going to say customers is new search we are not concerned about that and uh, no no and no not really need that we don't need these either so now let's see what's going on um, and this is the table view okay so this is actually uh, let me, okay so yeah so this is not being used for what Mm. Uh, text label set text color okay I think we have to do cell text label and uh, is it called set text maybe and this will be a customer dot name let's uh, build this and see if it's okay so what's going on is that we are giving it a unique identifier uh, to our table view and a table view cell okay now the reason is and let me see if I run this what will happen and it's much better to explain when it's running Ah, nothing is being displayed right now. Uh, I know I always forget one thing to do, and I don't remember what it is. But let's see. Okay, so let's actually go over here, uh, and when this is fired, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say self.tableView and the reload data. Let's see if that fills it up. So reload data will actually trigger the delegates. No. Uh, let me see. Have we connected the table view? Let's actually check that one up. So our table view is connected over here, which is correct, and the data source uh, is also connected. Uh, this delegate is not connected, but uh, it doesn't really matter because we're not really using that okay so let's build this customer we're getting the customer we are loading the data okay and uh, it says customers maybe we can say self dot customers dot count okay let's actually see if this is even run and as log and number of rows in section all right so number of rows in section is actually getting fired okay so this is good because we are kind of like debugging now that what the hell is going on uh cell and then self dot we can uh, unique identifier and then we are getting the index path row uh should work unique identifier text label customer dot name uh, that sh should be okay because we are assigning customer dot uh, name over here and then we are adding it to the customer collection and we are also initializing it mm -hmm. I know there's some small mistake set text color interesting hopefully Ah, let's see. See, these small mistakes. So that text will color what I think white. Uh, that's why it was not displaying. So here we go. Sorry about that. Um, so now the reason we are using the unique identifier, which is UI table view cell, is uh, right now you can see 10 items. Okay, but if you scroll up, you will see more items. If you have more items, of course. So whatever the number of items over here, are it takes some amount of memory for each cell now when you scroll up what unique identifier or what dq uh reusable cell with identifier does it 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 gets the cell f which have been already been scrolled up which are not in your view which you cannot see so it will get that particular cell instead of creating a new cell okay because a new cell when you create it it will uh you know take much memory and 
eventually if you have more rows actually 100 200 rows it will actually crash okay so if you're using more if you have more rows then use dq reusable cell with identifier this is very important because it will use the cell that have already been created and which are not in the view at that moment okay so you get that cell and you get the customer related to that cell and then you basically uh you know set the text and everything and assign the color and make sure the color is not white color but black color because you know white on white will not be visible so that was the problem that we were facing and return the cell that's pretty much it and you can see let me run it again that ui table view is very cool i mean very nice control and uh, most of the applications that you see on the web uses the ui table view uh, control in one form or the other to basically render their data render their nested tree view kind of data okay hope you like this video and uh, if you do uh, i'm always open for donations uh, this will keep uh, this will help me you know keep our keep making more videos so here's a paypal at adamsharp.com uh, at adamsharp at gmail.com and hope you enjoyed it thank you very much